このまま突っ込むぞはい From Naruto to Black Clover and even One Piece, most of the mainstream shonen anime protagonists have some sort of hidden power inside of them. Once unlocked or unleashed, it gives them an edge and allows them to gain new levels of strength. In this video, we're going to be talking about a few such animes, the top 10 animes where main characters has hidden powers, but of course, not the ones everybody is already familiar with. Let's see if you've already watched any of these. Well then, shall we begin? Starting from number 10, we have an anime called Big Order. Brought to you by the author of Mirai Nikki, this is the story of a young boy named Eiji Hoshimiya. Ten years before the present day, a fairy appeared in front of him and asked if he had any wish. He doesn't quite remember the wish itself, but whatever he wished was probably not a good wish because it led to some major destruction in the world. A lot of lives were lost, but now that ten years have passed since then, Eiji is living a normal life as a high school student. He still has no idea what he wished for, and all he really cares about is taking care of his sick sister. However, since the Great Destruction, people started developing abilities, and now these people are after him. Just what is it that he wished for all those years ago, and how is he going to survive all these incoming assassination attempts? <laughs> Next, we have Sacred Seven. There is a young man named Alma. He now lives his life as a lone wolf because he doesn't want to hurt people anymore. In fact, even when a lady named Rui Alba pays him a visit together with her butlers, he basically tells her to go home. He doesn't want anything to do with strength anymore. However, because of the appearance of a dark stone creature that just popped up and started ensuing chaos in their lands, Alma was left with no choice but to use his hidden power of the Sacred Seven to fight it. Or did he? You see, when Alma lets his power out, things start getting even worse than what they were before. What next? <laughs> Moving on, we have a sci-fi action series called Blast Reiter, and Nearly everyone I know who watched this series declares it an underrated gem. The story takes place in Germany where a sudden outbreak of cybernetics flipped the society upside down. If let as it is, Germany was going to get destroyed, which is why an assault team called Xenogenesis was formed. Its mission is to protect and to also research the newly evolved humans that have emerged in the wake of these developments. Our protagonist is also one of these evolved humans. His name is Joseph Jobson. They are after him, but what he wants is to discover the truth about the incident and also himself. <laughs> At number 7, we have a popular Chinese anime called Versatile Mage. A boy named Mo Fan was living a not so great life, but when he suddenly finds himself in another universe where the concept of science has been replaced by the concept of magic, he soon realizes that he is going to live a not-so-great life here as well. 
Much like his previous lives, his father is a poor laborer and he has to take care of his crippled sister. But Mofan knows that if he joins the Magic Academy and becomes an accomplished mage, he can ease his family situation. Unfortunately, when he finally gets admitted to the Academy, all that was waiting for him was brutal elitism. Now, he must prove his own strength and show everybody who is the main character. <laughs> <laughs> Twin Star Exorcist <laughs> is essentially the story of two genius exorcists who are fated to become legends as the Twin Star Exorcists. Not only that, but there has also been a prophecy that their child will cleanse the world of all impurities. Whoa, what a wholesome scenario. There are 50 episodes in total, and in many ways, Twin Star Exorcists is like a traditional battle shonen. The plot is about a place or realm called Kagere, where exorcists go to rid the world of impurities. And our protagonists are two bright exorcists who try their best to grow stronger and mature so that they can continue to protect the world from the impurities. Okay, so imagine this. What if suddenly you disappear from the world, not in the literal sense, but in the metaphorical sense? Like everyone who has ever known you just suddenly forgets all about you. There is no trace of your existence left whatsoever. As Dr. Hiruk from One Piece once said, people die when they're forgotten. And this is the primary theme of Shakugan no Shana. One day, an ordinary high school student named Yuji Sakai gets trapped in the crevice of time. A young girl saves him from a denizen, but has she really saved him considering how his existence has faded away? At number 4, we have a CGI show called Knights of Sidonia. The story takes place in the year 3394, where the Earth has already been destroyed and now the aliens are trying to seek out and kill the remnants of humanity who have dispersed in the galaxies. Our protagonist, named Tanikaze, lives with friends and others on a ship called Sidonia. It is basically humanity's last hope for survival, and so when he realizes that everything he thought he knew was a complete mystery, he and his friends decide to be the heroes who will protect their future. It's a wonderful series, one I highly recommend, so do not be intimidated by the CGI. <laughs> Blood Blockade Battlefront. Is about a man named Leonardo who gains the all seeing eyes of the gods thanks to his sister's sacrifice. It still kills him inside because if she hadn't sacrificed her eyesight on that day, she still would have been able to see. However, he knows that he must continue to better himself and be a man that his sister can be proud of. He moves to a city called Hell Salem's Lot. You may remember it as uh, New York City. It is a civilization where humans and extraterrestrial beings exist together in harmony. 
a wonderland of opportunities. <laughs> At number two, we have Charlotte. It's a story about young teenagers who develop supernatural abilities. One of them is Yu Otosaka. He has the ability to take over somebody else's body for five seconds. In those five seconds, he can do whatever he wants, like cheat on an exam or be a pervert, but what he doesn't know is the true nature of his ability and the things he has to do to make the world a better place. The number one anime on our list is The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. It is an award-winning slice-of-life mystery which I definitely do not want to spoil for those of you who haven't watched it. So let's just say that it's about a not-so-normal girl named Haruhi Suzumiya. While most people believe that aliens, espers, or time travelers aren't real, she begs to defer. In fact, she is fully set on meeting these unusual individuals, but what she doesn't know is the truth about her unique, hidden ability that can essentially affect reality without her even realizing it. Just what is this truth, and who is Haruhi Suzumiya? I highly recommend watching this anime for yourself. It is one of a kind. And with that said, these were my picks for the top 10 anime about where main characters has hidden powers. Let me know about what you guys think about these picks. Be my guest in the comment section down below. As always, a like and subscribe will always be most welcome. And if you're feeling particularly giddy about these anime recommendations, that super thanks button is always ready to be pressed by you at any moment now. Yep, any and all support is genuinely supported. Well then, with that said, I'll see you guys on my next video.